Hey everybody, welcome back to Baptist Health College. I'm here with Chelsea Sullivan, a recent graduate. Here, congratulations on Thank that. Thank you. You are a mother of two, mm -hmm. and you got into nursing after you had both of your kids. Right? Yes. Tell me your story. So my son was born in April of 2019, and I remember telling my husband after the whole experience, I said, I want to be her. I want to be the person that is taking care of that mom and that baby. And obviously I just had a child. I had already <laughs> been to school, had my bachelor's. I worked for a chiropractor. I was happy, but just what she did for me was so amazing. I wanted to be part of it. Yeah. And then after I had my daughter, so I had her about two years, a little over two years later, on maternity leave, I was preparing for starting nursing you school. You were already making plans. I was plans. going, yes. Well, when you make plans, you got to decide where you want to pursue mm -hmm. your nursing career. I'm sure you looked at a lot of options. I did. So I previously um, graduated from the University of Central Arkansas. And so I looked there, um, I looked at UALR, and then I actually live three miles away from Baptist, so mm -hmm. that was definitely on the list. Doesn't hurt. And they have an 18-month traditional nursing program, and I wanted to start as soon as possible. So I wasn't dragging out, being in school, away from my kids. I knew that it would be a commitment. And so I wanted something that was going to be more fast-paced. That way I mm -hmm. could start working again, right. essentially. Right, and, and sort of minimize the time that you would be mm -hmm. eventually away from your kids. Yes, because yes. Because they're still needing mom all, yes. all the time. So this fit in perfectly with you, it with was, what they had to offer here. It was absolutely perfect. Um, the, the location was perfect, the timing was perfect, and it, it couldn't have been a better option for me and my family. And you finished up how long ago? Uh, December. December, <laughs> and you're graduated. already working in labor and delivery. It's coming full circle. It's so awesome. <laughs> yeah, so so you're doing that thing that the, the nurse... I'm, I'm doing that thing, and it is even more rewarding than I thought it would ever be. So just from what I felt from my nurse, it's tenfold being on the other side. Oh, what a great story. Yeah. Your kids are now five and Almost two five and, a half. and two and a half. When they get older, they're going to be so proud of I, what you I have done. I hope so. I hope that they can see that they can make it through any adversity in life at any point in life and that just going for your dreams, no matter how old you are or what other accomplishments you've already had. So I, I hope that they can see that in what mom did and just be proud of me. Yeah, specifically <coughs> during your, your training here, mm -hmm. is there anything that stands out that was kind of an aha moment for you where you went, boy, this is where I need to be? And So, well, I knew that I wanted to work at Baptist Health in Little Rock in labor and delivery, so that was kind of another reason why I wanted to just already be in yeah, the Baptist right. Health system. Yeah, absolutely. Um, they have such amazing qualities and everything that they stand for just is... Fit in with it, who fit you in are. With, yes, 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 who I am as a person. Um, great Christian values and they, they show that daily. Um, we would always pray before every test. Um, it was just so comforting to have that as a, as a person, as a student, and I I couldn't be more proud of this school. No, that, that, that is tremendous. So you would obviously recommend mm -hmm. this track that you took to anybody who may be considering Absolutely. doing this, even if they think they don't have the time, even if yes. they think they can't make it work. Yes, yes. So your instructors will be your best friend sometimes. They. I actually just went to see one of my instructors for a little help on IV starts. Uh, she always said, if you need help, whether you're a student or you're working in the field, my office is always open. And so I took her up on that. A little continuing but education never hurts, Absolutely. Right? Yeah. And so they're all like that. They, they all just want you to be the best nurse that you can be and want you to be successful and um, a safe, competent nurse going into your first year of nursing. Well, I wish everybody who goes through labor and delivery has a nurse like Chelsea. Oh my gosh, they're all wonderful. You can't go wrong. I, you really can't. I don't doubt that <laughs> at all. Thank hey, if somebody you. wants to do this, we've got contact information up on the screen, <laughs> telephone number up there. 
uh, you'd really encourage them to, to, to ask questions, to yes, find out what yes. they need to do. Yes, so if you're wanting to go just kind of look at things on your own, they have a great layout. It's at bhclr.edu. Um, you can go on there. Um, there are many different um, tracks, and uh, I believe you guys will have other yeah, people speaking sure. as well. Um, but for nursing, you can go under and see what prerequisites you need, what um, GPA you need, uh, what entrance exam level um, scores you need. Yeah. And um, you can also call. So the admissions office is amazing. The phone number is 501-202-2600. And uh, anyone in the office will be able to help you with whatever you need. Chelsea, thank you so much. Best yes, of luck to thank you. Thank you. And uh, we'll be back with more from Baptist Health College right after this.